this exceptional site, located over 4,200 meters above sea level, the atmosphere is so thin that it provides extremely clear images of the cosmos. Furthermore, there's no big city close by, so no light pollution spoils the night. A first long night of work begins. The team managed to get a time slot on one of the main optical telescopes of Mauna Kea, the CFHT, the Canada-France-Hawaii Telescope an instrument fascinating for its complexity, precision, and exorbitance. It's still okay out there. It's still a good night. Yes. Good night for the seeing. The, the, the image quality is very good. Yes. The only problem is that in about three hours there will be serious. Yes. We are really coming here and... Uh, yeah, in, in a little while here. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Helen and Brandt have at their disposal one of the best tools in the world to take pictures of new galaxies. Galaxies which will be crucial benchmarks to enlarge the map of cosmic flows. So this kind of galaxy, it's really interesting because actually what we can do is this photometry, surface photometry. Okay, I have a nice The first stage here. of the mapping is to what define as say? precisely as possible the position oh, of galaxies, oh. measure their distance, um, how far they are okay. from us. Thanks to a tool like the CFHT, Ellen and Brent can undertake the first essential measurement to calculate the distance, measuring a galaxy's brightness. Measuring galaxies' brightness amounts in a way to measuring the quantity of light that reaches us. This gives an indication of the distance, because the further away a galaxy is, and the less light it gives out, the less bright it appears. But measuring the brightness isn't enough to define the galaxy's distance precisely. To do so, they also need to know its luminosity, which is its light power. If you have a light bulb and you know how bright that light bulb is intrinsically, um, and then you have a way of measuring how bright it appears to be, then you can tell how far away it is because as it goes farther away from you, the brightness is falling off as a square of the distance. And so just by measuring the amount of light coming from that light bulb, we can measure how far away it is. Yes, yeah, so it's a nice spiral many... galaxy. It's it's a relatively small galaxy. It's mm -hmm. not a big galaxy. It's rotating slower. That will be rotating at maybe 150 kilometers per second. Yes. These galaxies appearing on computer screens will be tiny spots on the new map. But each of these spots is actually of unimaginable gigantic proportions like our Milky Way, and its hundreds of billions of suns, and its diameter of over 200,000 light years. It would take 200,000 years to cross it at the speed of light. The scales are huge. We're talking billions of years, and we're talking millions and tens and hundreds of millions of light years. These are scales that are really difficult to come to term with, but it is essential to know that everything is moving. Our planet has only been here, our solar system is four and a half billion years old. And in the time that our uh, solar system has been here, our solar system has gone around the center of our galaxy 17 times. Everything, there's new stars forming, there's stars dying, there's supernova going off, everything is changing. Gazing up at this immensity from their observation post in Hawaii, Ellen and Brent have decided to point the telescope towards the constellations of Coma and Virgo. In the reality of the depth of space, 
This is the area of a galactic supercluster simply called Coma. The distances separating us from the thousands of galaxies comprising it have never been measured. In my opinion, I think the study of cosmic flows is very important because it really does affirm the fact that clusters of galaxies weigh quite a lot. They're not massless. If we could just have a precision that was twice as good as what we are now, cosmic flows would reveal all kinds of quantitative, important quantitative things about the universe. Thanks to the data collected in Hawaii, the Coma supercluster appears as the first piece of the puzzle of the new map. After having measured the brightness of galaxies, it is necessary to estimate their distance, to know their absolute luminosity. To obtain this new data, it is time to change instruments and destinations.